guys. My head is chopped up. Okay. That's a little bit better. Duck and donuts. But I've become my favorite place to get some breakfast. So, got these little bag with some few little things I want to eat with. I feel this is some extra bacon. This bake is. I have bacon, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich. I have ham, egg, and white wake up wrap. I have some hot coffee. And I ordered some apple fritters, which they didn't get. I had to call back over. They gave me my $3 back for that. Because they gave me a donut. I didn't order a donut. Hash browns, I have this in that bag. And the maple. Sugar, snack, and bacon. That's that guy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Ooh. I don't even want to put it down on there. It tastes good. What else I got? Okay, I think I told you everything I have. Let's get to eating this. I don't know if I'm going to get to my donut. I ain't ordered no donut. Stay away from the donut. You see how the devil is? I got the mother's here. I'm going to eat it. Oh, my son wants it. <laughs> that will use a wire. Okay. Can I tell you that I ordered this wheat? Um, ooh, a little cheese pull over there. It's hot because I just pulled it out from my table. Because I'm not going to eat any cold food today. So... Let's put this coffee over here. I got a little bit of stuff. I don't know if I... I don't know, I can't. Because I, I have a, a box of review. I'm about to review this. It's going to be double review, but... We're just going to review one thing at a time, and I'll do that. Um, I'll do that Universal Yum box for December. I'll do that later. So, here you guys know I have the wrap, the breakfast wrap sandwich. It's on whole wheat. You don't know what you're sending people. You might send a donut to a diabetic. You know, hash brown. And that ham, egg, and cheese wake up wrap. I want to tell you what I think about it. I'm ready to eat. I gotta take grace first because you can't eat. You gotta say grace. So, I have some. I forgot what kind of coffee I ordered. It just says hot coffee, but it has hazelnut cream on. And, yeah, that's it. Let's play a game right quick. Because after I eat, I'm just going to get out of here. And I'm not going to do the other um, review. I was going to do those two review. It said, what was the name of Ricky Martin's 1999 hit song? A. La, La Maldita. B, she bangs. C, Maria. And D, living la vida loca. Which is the answer, guys? I'm not putting the cards on the bottom because then I'll be lifting it up and I'll be doing too much. So we'll put it there. Then I'll um, put it in the community post, guys. Let's say Grace. I don't know. Two, four, five, six hash browns. Some bacon. Can y'all see it? A little closer. Is that better? That's better. Let's say grace. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food I'm about to receive to nourish the body for Christ's sake. Amen. Bless my family. Bless the homeless, sick, and shut-in that they may be having meals. And they're thankful. Amen. And amen. I had some, let me see if I can find it. Guys, I had videos, I had a couple of them before, I'm talking months ago, that I had done story time when I traveled from New York to North Carolina with my family. It was a whole hot mess, so I might tell that story time again.
I'm gonna pop my bomb inside the camera. It's <clears throat> a beautiful look. <clears throat> I'm here for the coffee. What y'all here for? Let's put this over here and move this back. Got a cheese pull and some paper pull too. Look. I stopped liking the yellow cheese this much. I do like the age um, Cracker Barrel. The age just got the black wrap on it. Nobody make a cup of coffee like Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, this is a cup of veggie. Veggie egg white, mozzarella cheese, and a, and a piece of ham inside of a wrap. Always moving stuff around. I heard a question. Why do the whole of America likes bacon? If you don't like bacon, tell me in the comment and tell me why you don't like bacon. I don't think I found a person yet to say they don't like bacon. What else? Something else? What's some foods? Name some foods that nobody dislikes. How about French fries? How about tacos? <laughs> Even the babies love the tacos. Well, I don't make the tacos much, but my little three-year-old grandson loves nachos, so I make the nacho bowls. He loves them. I was thinking before I started this video that if I got rich, I could hire somebody from Dunkin' Donuts to come and make my breakfast for me. And make some awesome breakfast. I like the way the sausage tastes because it tastes like the one that I buy, the breakfast sausage. And they make some awesome coffee. I took the cup of coffee I got from Dunkin' Donuts because it was slightly sweet from the hazelnut cream. And I got a cup of coffee yesterday from Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, um, I wanted to try that Mac rib, guys, and I didn't want to try it on camera and be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why things have to make noise, but. That thing, oh, I don't even want to make the, um, I may try it again after my stomach get better. That's what I'll say. Maybe just to review it. But it wasn't the same old Mac rib, not that was here years ago to me. It didn't taste nothing like it used to. Mm -mm. I 
I've seen this guy, he said, oh, he don't eat McDonald's sauce. If you drop a French fry on the floor, it'll stay like that um, forever. This guy said, yeah, but if you drop anything on the floor, it don't turn. Maybe an apple, if you drop an apple piece, it'll turn brown. But if I drop this hash brown on the floor, it's going to stay the same way. It's not going to turn to nothing. It might, maybe. And get some mold on it, but he said McDonald's French fries the stay the same. It's made out of rubber. What is it made out of? I don't know. We eat all kind of stuff. Unless you're eating at home, you don't know what to eat. Even when you make it and buy it at the store, somebody got to handle it. I saw people in the South lived so long. They farmed, they did their own, they made their own chicken, they chopped their heads off and wring their neck. Mm -mm. I'm not saying we wouldn't do that, but if you have to eat, you would have wring that chicken neck for sure. <laughs> they hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> Okay. Nice little breakfast. Not too much. I want to just comment a video. Hang out with you guys while it's quiet and peaceful. My grandson went back home. My son went to work. It's just me and y'all. Mm -mm. Everybody has some amazing Christmas Christmas um, intros. And I try to make a Christmas intro where I try to put music in my wrap the spaghetti, the cooking part. Well, they gave me a, a copyright. I like to change the Christmas music card. You gotta be so careful with music. One video, they'll let you get away with some music in the next video. And I use instrumentals because I try not to use the ones with lyrics because I don't want to copy that. Hope you guys all staying safe. I was talking to a friend of mine. Because it's Christmas time, everybody out here. And the weather's not been that bad. And running to this store, that store. Mm -mm. Not me. Every time I get ready to go outside, I'm reminded in my head that 250-something thousand people has died from COVID-19. I know people tired of hearing about it, but that be reminded. If you're not careful, you could be on the opposite slide, like the guy said. Coronavirus eating you up. Try my best to stay safe from them. The way they make it sound, <laughs> people be saying, well, if it was so bad like that, why people ain't just walking outside and dropping dead on the street? They like dropping dead at the hospital, my sister said. Um, how y'all feel about the vaccine? My personal opinion, and so I've been going back and forth with my head. With my insurance, which is pretty good. I don't know if, excuse me, if I fall into the age category as far as a senior citizen or something, be able to get it. <laughs> but 
It's saying if you have allergic reactions to medications and different things, you shouldn't take it. And you know, a lot of people just feel like they haven't done enough research on it to be just giving it out to millions of Americans and millions of people. Period. Like people say, it takes year, six months to three to six months at least to review some new. Medication, vaccine, whatever. But they just found this, and I'm not opposed to them trying something because you've got so many people that probably be willing to just try it because they're in the hospital dying and they want to try anything. It's like I'm dying, and you say I'll take the yellow pill, or the pink pill, I'll take any pill. <laughs> Give me something that's going to make me feel better. I have a brother from church, personally, family that's been touched by that. He went on a vacation with family, not, not many, maybe him, my brother, and two sisters or two cousins or whoever. He said they didn't do much. They just, I guess, got tired of being inside and wanted to meet up well, since they all survived. And I missed family reunion in June, so I, I don't know if that's the reason how he contacted, but I know that he did have it and was in the hospital for a month or so. Maybe a month and a half, you said they used him like a pincushion. You don't want this thing who people believe is not real. He said, it takes your breath away from you, and you can't walk from here to the kitchen. He said he tried going to the store, even though he wasn't feeling well, to try to extend himself. So I pray, Heavenly Father, that you remove this disease, this virus, so that people may live freely, Lord. It's so bad. And the thing is, is that when I talk to people about it, it gets like, oh, he's talking about the virus again. Yes. Don't come over here next to me, and if you out there just thinking you lollygagging, hanging out with friends, you have your mask on, you cannot have your mask on when it's time to eat, drink, and have fun, because you get loose and you forget about any mask. Because you with friends and family that didn't die yet. So you believe that y'all can't die, I guess. I don't want to be part of your group, and I don't want to be part of the dying group. Mm-mm. Anyway, guys, enough of the COVID-19 talk. Well, me, myself, even though I stay in the house and I limit myself, I don't think I'm opposed to any death. We all could die. Every day we could die from something that's not COVID. But you got to pray about all of those things. And if you know directly that it's something that could kill you, like HIV, and you having sex with a partner you know directly have HIV and you're going to be unprotected then? Makes some sense to me. It's like you just asking for death. And just like the COVID-19, if you're just not protecting yourself and you're going out there. Kissing and hugging and meeting people on OnlyFans or whatever y'all doing. OnlyFans, that's a new one to me. <laughs> But I was told the dating sites has increased by thousands. Oh, the coffee's so good. Diamond is not part of none of that. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna show you this few bites before I lay down and just watch the TV and eat it. No. Mm. There's two more bites. I can't even make it. I got a donut and two bites. I'm going to take this last. Mm. It's like some kind of little grains in that. I must be the multi grain. Mm. Oh, that's so good. 
Only thing I need now is a drink of water. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share my videos if you want. Come back. Just press the notification and subscription. And I hope you guys are staying safe. And order at home. I got lots of boxes. If I take you out there, I have I've ordered from Bath and Body. I have ordered from Macy's. I've ordered myself a new laptop. I found on a new site. Well, it's not it's new to me. My son told me about new eggs. And I found the iMac um computer. I spent a little over five hundred dollars. And I bought another piece of electronics from that company. He says it's pretty good. He been ordering from them. And I ordered electronics, I ordered hand sanitizers, I ordered toilet paper, all my grandson's some toys that he loved and clothes that he loved. I got all the same thing everybody else got that's getting into these stores and crowded and jeopardizing themselves. But, you know, I just can't do it. And when the times are a little better, and the holidays is, because they're expecting that during this holiday period, so many people will die just because they think people get too happy with themselves and let loose and forget about their mask. And people talk about how uncomfortable it is. It's uncomfortable to wear the mask, but it'd be more uncomfortable in death. And you might not know about your death, but your family will feel yes, it. Yes, it's very uncomfortable, but huh, I go nowhere without mine. Give them some air kisses, whatever, and just give them love from a distance. Only person I can't give love from a distance is my grandson, and so I protect myself greatly for that because he has to be here with me some of the times, and I don't want to be out and about just because I want to enjoy my life. I love you.